Good afternoon, this is Patricia and I'm traveling for history. I'm at Prospect Cemetery today in East Middlebury, Vermont. I've been searching for these different American Civil War veterans and I've been able to find this one right here. Let me zoom in so you can see his name. This was George Washington Abbott. He was born on May 15, 1832 in Bristol, Vermont. He enlisted August 30, 1862 and mustered in on October 21, 1862 as a private with Company E, 14th Vermont Infantry, and then mustered out on July 30, 1863. There was a pension applied for on June 28, 1880, and he would have received that until his death, which was November 21, 1902. Now, typically, the pensions, the federal pensions, because he served as a member of the Grand Army of the Republic, the Union side of the um, American Civil War, and uh, that was generally given for uh, disability caused by something that happened during the war, or um, becoming destitute. After he died, his widow, Eliza E., Chapman, who's buried right here, would have received it until she died. She had to prove that she was married to him, though. She had to provide paperwork for that. And she died on December 8, 1902. I have his obituary here that I'm going to read to you as well. Quote, George W. Abbott died at his home in this village Friday morning at 2.30 o'clock after an illness of several months duration from an intestinal disease at the age of 70 years. The deceased was born in Bristol, Vermont, May 15, 1832, and with his people came to this village, having resided in the home in which he died. During a period of 46 years of married life, by occupation he was a bloomer, and during the existence of the iron manufacture in this village, labored many years at his profession. He enlisted in Company E, 14th Regiment, Vermont Volunteers, as a musician, and served about one year. He was a member of Hale Post, G.A.R., having united himself with that body upon the disbandment of Needham Post of this village. He was also a member of Union Lodge F and A.M. of Middlebury. Uh, that would be the Masonic Temple, Masonic Lodge. The widow and one sister, Mrs. Austin Peck of this village, survive. The funeral was largely attended at the late home of the deceased. A Sunday noon, afternoon at 1.30 o'clock, Reverend W.T. Forsythe officiating. Hail Post, G.A.R., attending, as also did 45 members of the F and A.M. fraternity who exemplified the burial service of that order at the grave. The bearers were W. W. Turner, Ezra Turner, B. G. Peck, and W. G. Piper. The interment was in the family lot in Prospect Cemetery. Unquote. Well, thank you so much for coming with me today. It's always an honor to present veterans, particularly, for my channel. This is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. I would love you if you'd follow me on my social media. I'm everywhere you are. And subscribe to my channel. I hope uh, you have a great rest of your day. As, uh, as uh, I say... Thanks for watching here. Bye.